841 on your Monday morning. Allison is back, and we'll be chatting about Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan with the BT Book Club at 930 on Facebook Live. Please join us. But what we do want to do is reveal the next three books that we've chosen for the book club. And to do the honors, of course, we turn once again to Allison Street of the Calgary Public Library. But first, we have to remind everybody that it is summer reading season at the library. Absolutely. So if you come down to any Calgary Public Library location, we have tons of stuff going on. There's a uh, hundreds of free programs going on all summer as well as you can always come down and play our summer reading game uh, kids are loving it this year so it's a lot of fun that's so good and they get like a whole little map don't they, they get a map to follow yep. along there are prizes oh see kids like prizes absolutely and it's good to keep them reading through the summer isn't it very important not yes. to get that backside before they start school the next year that's right so keep them right on top of things mm -hmm. okay so get the kids to the calgary public library we're going this afternoon i was Wonderful. telling you yes it's nice too actually when you get a break from the heat just to go into the air-conditioned library hang out for a bit absolutely a nice you can hang out for as long as you want it's one of the last places in calgary you can do that you can do that that's true <laughs> All right, moving on to the book club. So we're, of course, talking about Crazy Rich Asians, and we'll do that at 9.30. But we wanted to outline the next few books. So you can go to the library, you can put them on hold, and pick them up and read along. So for August, we are reading... Artemis. Now, this is our first science fiction yes, read. Yeah, never done sci-fi before. Yeah, by the author of The Martian, which was a huge hit. Yeah. Now, this one's a little bit different. Think Ocean's Eleven in Space. Oh, she's 11 in space. I <laughs> love it. On the moon. Um, so Artemis is a city on the moon. And our main character, Jazz, is kind of a small-time hustler. She's trying to make enough money to move out of her little coffin-like room. Basically, it's just a bed that she sleeps in. Um, so she starts out with a small smuggling gig, and then it leads to kind of this bigger heist. And all of a sudden, she's trapped in this world of, you know, evil corporations and murder and, and all these kind of happenings. Ooh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, it was, it's really fun. I just finished it. Oh, that's so good. I'm going to start it today. I just finished my other book last night. You know when you're in the mood to read something like this? Mm -hmm. It almost makes the book a little bit better. Absolutely. I'm very excited about that. Okay, now, I got really excited about this one, too. So yes. this is for September. We wanted to go a little fiction-y for September. Now, it's really popular these days to have these kind of um, suburban nightmare scenario type books. And not to say that this is a nightmare, but Little Fires Everywhere follows uh, Maya. She moves to the suburbs with her daughter. She's a single mother. And uh, her landlord is really interested in figuring out her mysterious past. Oh. Maya's trying to hide her mysterious past. So um, they kind of get into, uh, there's a little bit of confrontation there. And, you know, the secrets are sometimes best kept hidden. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. I heard this one's turned into a movie, too. I think it will be, yes. Yeah, it's got that kind of drama to it, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Sure. Okay, so we've got little fires everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then we're into October already. We wanted something kind of thrillery because of October and Halloween. Mm -hmm. And we have the wife between us. So we have a potentially jealous ex-wife. We have a beautiful new wife. And what they say to do is throw out all the assumptions that you have about what this book will be like because it's a complete thriller full of twists and turns and you have to read it to kind of, to kind of figure out what's going on. Ooh, I like it. I think you're really going to like it. Yeah. This is going to be fun. Mm -hmm. We've even booked November, but we're not telling you what November is. We want to keep it a secret. So that's fun, too. So we've got Crazy Rich Asians again. This is by Kevin Kwan. Do you want to do just a really quick summary of what this one is for us? Absolutely. So this is basically following the lives of the incredibly wealthy and famous in Asia. Um, so we have Rachel, who is meeting her boyfriend's family for the first time, and she doesn't realize that he's actually a billionaire. <laughs> he somehow managed to keep that a secret from he her. He just, like, didn't mention that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So she's over in Asia. She's re meeting all the family, going to weddings, and uh, she's basically a fish out of water. She sure is, <laughs> and it's a lot of fun. So we'll be talking about that at 9.30 on Facebook Live with Allison Street and many of the other people involved in the book club. So please join us. We'll do that at 9.30 on Facebook Live. Thanks, Allie, for Thank being you. here once again. We're going to go for a break here on BT. When we come back, we've got Andy with the forecast.